Good morning. Today is Friday, April 24th. Welcome to this week's edition of The Launchpad. I'm Addie Hedges. To get us started this week, we'll go to Ashland for current events. Thanks, Addie. In Ohio, there are now 15,169 cases of the coronavirus and 690 deaths. There has been a spike in these numbers due to an outbreak of the virus in a prison. We'll have more updates in the next couple weeks as the governor plans on reopening Ohio slowly starting May 1st. Now over to Hannah for some sports updates. Thanks, Ashlyn. Spring sports have officially been canceled, and there were two Buckeyes in the top three in the NFL draft. Now over to Cheyenne for weather. Thanks, Hannah. Unfortunately, another rainy and dreary weekend is in store for us. Although the forecast calls for showers all weekend, the temperatures will still be on the warmer side. Today's forecast calls for a high of 67 and a low of 44, staying partially cloudy throughout the whole day and with a low 20% chance of showers. Saturday is partially cloudy up until 3 p.m. There's an 80% chance of showers in the evening with a high of 65 and low of 48 throughout the whole day. Rain is predicted all day Sunday and should end in the late evening. There will be a high of 51 and a low of 38. So with that being said, if you plan on getting out of the house this weekend, I hope you bring your umbrella and raincoat. Now over to Chloe and her siblings for some arts and crafts. Thanks, Cheyenne. And today we're going to be painting with watercolors. George is going to be painting. I'm going to paint, um, I'm going to paint a rainbow. What are you going to paint, Jack? Oh, uh, I can paint a spider web. A spider web? Yeah. Okay. Your spider web. That's a spider web. Okay, Georgia, show us your rainbow. Okay, so this is the rain, and this is the rainbow, and this is the sun, and this is a uh, a rain cloud, and this is the sky, and this says thank you, teachers, for watching me. And now on to Rachel with a poem. Bye. Thanks, Chloe. I will now be reading a quote by Charles Bukowski. The thing that matters most is how well we walk through the fire. Now on to Abby for a PSA. Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's PSA. This week's PSA is over working out. Now we're not going to get fat and lazy over this quarantine, so make sure you're getting outside. Here's mine and Ashlyn's quarantine workout that we didn't film an intro to. Start off with 30 jumping jacks. 25 high knees. 25 butt kicks. Seven push ups. Seven burpees. Twenty sit ups. Repeat two to three times and include any exercises you'd like. Next set starts with forty Russian twists. 20 in and outs. Now a 45 second plank. 20 plank dips. 25 knee pads. 25 ankle taps. Now 20 alternate Vs. Repeat two to three times and include any exercises you'd like. For the third step. Come on, come on. <laughs> For the third set, you can do stairs. You can throw in some hops too. And there's your quarantine workout. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ashlyn and Hannah. Starting this week, the Launchpad will have a new segment called Senior Spotlight. In this segment, we will highlight one girl and one boy from the senior class. They are chosen randomly, so if you are a senior, make sure you are checking your email to see if you have been selected. This week, the seniors chosen were Jaden Tharp and Chase McCarty. As many people already know, Jaden is the valedictorian of the class of 2020. She plans on studying biochemistry at Miami University. This is what Jaden says she will miss the most about her senior year. What I miss most about being at school is hanging out in the art room. Senior Chase McCartney has also been chosen to be highlighted this week. He plans on studying engineering at Ohio University in the fall. This is what Chase says he will miss the most about his senior year. Some of the things I miss most about not going to school are seeing some of the people I don't really keep in contact with, 
and Joker are also my favorite teachers. Despite the abrupt ending, these seniors have chosen to remember their senior year by these memories. What I want to remember most about my senior year is cross country. I had a really good the final season and I had a lot of fun with my team. I want to remember my senior year by thinking of all the memories me and my friends have made. Right now, it is hard to look into the future and see a clearly planned path. However, Chase McCartney wants his fellow seniors to remember this. Don't let this coronavirus change who you are and what you're going to be after high school. Thank you for watching this week's edition of The Launchpad. We'll see you next week.